Hello, my name's Adam. I am the co-founder of Reloom, and I'm gonna show you how to create an animated timeline on Webflow. There are a variety of use cases for this timeline, so let's jump in and start building it, and we hope you enjoy. Firstly, gone ahead, I've created a section for the heading of the timeline. And so next we'll create a separate section for the timeline. And the reason being is that uh, the progress bar that you see in the example uh, doesn't actually animate or progress through the path based on Webflow animations. It progresses through the path based on its position on the screen. And so it will actually be fixed um, to the top of the screen um, throughout the, the page scroll. And so we wanna create a section, um, a separate section where this progress bar is the only section that is visible. So to do that, we'll need to create a separate section for the, um, the, the timeline. So we'll call this the timeline and within the timeline section, we'll add another div and we'll call this the container. And within the container, we're gonna have another div and we'll call this the timeline wrapper. So the timeline wrapper is basically the wrapper for all the elements within the timeline, which includes the content and the progress bar. So um, for this, um, we'll make it a, a flex and we'll make it vertical and we'll make it aligned centered. Um, so this is to ensure that the progress bar is centered within the middle of the screen when we do go ahead and create that. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll start actually creating the, the, the content. Um, so we'll create a, um, we'll add a div and we'll call this um, the timeline item. And the timeline item is actually a grid and we'll make the column spacing zero and we'll add three columns and we'll make one row. And so the columns basically, the first column will be text the middle column will be like the circle and the progress bar. And then the third column will be more text. So we'll have the date, circle, then um, like the, the, the content. So um, for the middle of the progress bar, we'll make this 160 pixels and, and we'll make this 100% width. Okay, cool. Now I wanna make background for this timeline layer just because it needs to um, blend in with the heading and we will go into the timeline wrapper, go into the timeline item, we'll start creating the columns. So uh, the column wrappers. So the first will be a div and we'll call it timeline left. So this will wrap all, this will basically wrap all the content on the left. Then we'll add another um, div and we'll call this timeline center. And then we'll, the last one will be timeline right. So we have three divs to wrap the timeline item. So the, for the left, we just wanna make um, the text line to the left. You know what, to make things simple, I'm just gonna make the text color of the timeline item white so that you can actually see the text. And when I add in the text to each wrapper, I can, it, it's just automatically white. Um, so adjust to the parents, parent elements uh, text color. Okay, so let's name this um, the timeline date text. And to match the design, we want this actual text to be quite large. Um, and we want it to be a bit bold. And you know, we got we got we got the we got the color and we'll call this January 2012. So this is the very beginning of the story of Reloom set in 2012. All right, then in the middle, we'll want to just add the timeline circle. So the timeline circle is a circle that is, oh, I can't spell circle. Uh, a circle that is 15 pixels width with 15 pixels height. This circle will be white and it will be a circle. So 100% radius. And we'll make sure this div is centered uh, it has a flex box that centers the circle okay so let's add another text block within here for all the text to the right um, side of the timeline and we'll call this timeline text 
and we'll make this 20, this 1.3, we'll make it nice and thick. Cool, awesome. All right, and now I can also just add in some dummy content that was used on the site for now. All right, cool. Additionally, I feel like it is quite uh, wide. So what I wanna do is I wanna make the max width a little bit uh, less wide. So I'm just gonna make make the max width, pull it in, bring it in a little bit. Nice, looking schmicko. All right, so the timeline item. Timeline item, we're gonna have um, spacing between each timeline item, otherwise we'll just look like this. Um, and so we'll add 80 pixel spacing to space out the content. Cool, all right. Now, the next piece is the timeline progress bar. So we'll create a div called the timeline progress. And this first div is basically going to create the gray path that the progress bar works through. All right, so to create that, firstly, I'm just gonna drag this bad boy up to the top and I'm going to, you know, click, click it. I'm going to make it three pixels in width. Um, I'm going to make it 100% so that it's 100% of uh, matches the content height. And I'm going to make it absolute. And I'm also going to make it dark. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so we have the first progress bar. Now the actual progress bar, um, we will create inside of this div and we'll call it um, the timeline progress, ooh, progress, geez, can't type. Timeline progress bar, and we'll make this three pixels in width, but we'll make the height 50 viewport height. And the reason is, is that when we, when we fix it to the top of the screen, that means that it will basically look like it's progressing when it, when it enters, um, scrolls past 50% of the screen. So uh, that, that really doesn't make much sense, but I'll show you what I mean. So we want to set this progress bar to fixed and we'll want to make the viewport height, 50% viewport height as um, I guess the, the positioning at the bottom here. And we'll make this white all right so now you can see the progress bar progressing through the path all right we're almost there next thing that you want to do now and this explains why we we created an, an, a section for the timeline specifically is that we'll want to go to the timeline wrapper and we want to set the z index to minus three right so that the progress bar doesn't appear through the other sections then we'll want to go to timeline progress and we want to set that to minus two. Then we'll want to go to timeline progress bar and we'll set that to minus one. So now when you look at the timeline progress bar, it, um, it, it travels through. What you'll notice is that this timeline progress bar does not work if you were to just have a timeline in isolation. Right? It at least needs to have 100 at 50 viewport height above and below it, which I assume will work because almost all pages of a website has a footer and a hero section. So this really shouldn't break the design, but if you don't have that and you just want a straight timeline, then it's gonna break the design. I'm sorry. Um, so now we have a progress bar and let's just add some more items to really see this this thing fly. Okay, cool. It's looking good, it's looking good. Now what's missing? When I jump back over to the example, we're missing things, the elements that take this progress bar to that next level um, to give it the reloom touch. And that is some animations that, um, that fades in and out the content. And also, as you'll see, the circle actually travels through um, the length or the height of, of the content. So to get that effect, um, let's jump back in and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's start off with the effect of when it travels um, and the, the circle travels through the, the, the height of the content. So firstly, um, we want the, the, the date also to do that. So firstly, we'll start with the date. We'll go sticky 
and we'll go 50 viewport height and we'll make the circle the same. Sticky, 50 viewport height. So now let's see that in action. Boom, pushes down, pushes down, pushes down. So we got that effect going. Okay, so now what's left is to create a timeline, um, an animation for when the timeline item scrolls into view, it lights up. So let's do that. We'll click timeline item, we'll go over to the interactions panel and we'll click um, element trigger and we'll go to while scrolling in view and we will go play scroll animations and we'll add a scroll animation and we'll call this timeline animation. Now for this to actually work, what we want to do is we want to set the um, end animation to start exiting and then we'll want to jump back over here and we'll want to start selecting the items that we'll want to animate. So I will want to change the text color from, from this color to a white. All right. And I also want to do the same for the circle. So I'm going to make that background color. I'm going to duplicate this bad boy, drag it over to this side of town. I'm going to go back here, repeat. And, I'm, and then I'm going to do the same to the text on the other side. So we'll just bear with me here. All right, so we have the animation done. Now, as you can see, as you scroll in, it, 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 it animates. All right, but the actual positioning of how that works isn't quite right. So what we want to do is as the line hits the circle is when we'll want to animate in. So that seems like it's about 58%. So drag this in 58%. And we don't want it to be too quick, so we'll make it about 63%. And we'll go save and we'll test this out. So it hits, lights up, perfect. All right, now, considering I haven't really added the content properly, I'm just gonna like delete all this. And I'm just gonna copy and paste the item with the actual animation and test this out. Awesome. There we are, the timeline is working. Okay, so lastly, what we might wanna do is we'll add a section at the end of this timeline, all right? And we'll see that fully progress through. There we are, that is the timeline. You can add, modify it, but this is the base of the Reloom Timeline Clonable. If you have any questions, um, please ask, leave them in the comments. And if you want to hear, see more of um, tutorials and clonables from Reloom, please give us a follow and subscribe to us um, and also subscribe to this channel. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to the next tutorial that we create. Thank you.